Good day, Captain Hans here. Uh, today we are going to do musky leaders. All right, there is only one kind that I believe should be used, and they are stainless steel, uh, solid musky leaders. Okay, you got a lot of guys who love using their fluorocarbon. I can tell you this: uh, if you use fluorocarbon enough, and if you use it fishing soft plastics, you will have great heartache. You will have great and utter heartache. And it's not a joke. You're also hurting the fish. So therefore, today, we are going to learn how to make, to use the the nicest and finest musky leader you can get. All right? And this is what I use to make it. I use the brown AFW toothproof stainless steel single strand wire, 174 pound. That's what I like to use, okay? I have used heavier and uh, weaker. If you get much weaker than this, it really starts to bend up on you easy, and you end up, uh, if you get kinked, you gotta, you gotta throw them out more. So 174 is where I like to be. The next thing are these Mustad Stay Locks. If you like, I'm not, uh, I'm not completely, you know, it's not like the, the brand. If you have one that you know is solid, I don't mind, but these are the ones that I use. The number fours. I like a nice tidy leader. I don't like these big sloppy things with huge, stupid, gigantic. They, they make like guys got these and they got a four inch friggin' snap hanging off of it. And I'm like, who the heck wants that? You want it look, to look classy like a gentleman. All right. So we use gentleman snaps. All right. Same with the swivels. This is a 200 pound swivel. Okay. These are those mighty minis or whatever. I mean, we got, uh, just get get a nice, it doesn't even need to be a ball bearing. We need a, you know. So basically, those are the things that you need. Now the other thing, that, the, the only other bit of machinery that you need for these is a pair of split, or a, a pair of bending pliers, all right? And uh, you know, I, I use these for a lot, but um, you don't even need cutters for this, in fact, you should not use cutters for this. The biggest problem that we have with these leaders is that when people do this, they use snippers to snip them and it leaves the tag end razor sharp with a little tag end that's razor sharp. And then every time your line gets wrapped around that little, that, that gets wrapped up around the top of your leader and it slides off of that, it, it hurts the line every time. And then I watch people's things go flying away and then I feel their leader and I can feel that it's that it's sharp. It's actually sharp, the tag that they cut off, which is just messing with fire. So we work too hard to catch these fish. So we need it to be right. So I'm gonna show you how to make a non-sharp and you don't even need snaps. That's the craziest thing. So grab your wire like so, okay? Make sure you leave yourself, you know, enough room so you probably want three inches on this side and then you got the rest of your leader down this way all right and uh so first off you're going to bend it back now you just move down the tips of those pliers to depending on how big of a a circle that you want i like about halfway down the pliers and we bend around then you're going to shift the pliers around so that you got room to bend that all the way around so now you have a nice circle coming across okay see that so now you're gonna take your pliers and you're gonna grab the circle now wait a minute first off if you want to put something on here like in this case we'll put the uh, the 200 pound swivel on there you put it on now because you can't put it on once you uh, once you start going around the neck here so you put that on you grab across that and then we're going to start going around and just get them next to each other so they're tight i like to go you know four or five times around so that collar comes up a little bit now what you're going to do is you're going to want to bring that tag end up so that it goes perpendicular to the loop 
okay I'm, I'm hoping that this is that this is keyed in so the 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 round loop that we made is going this way and the piece is going straight up okay because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a crank to crank this off and the way that it shears it allows it to shear off and not be sharp okay so notice how I just grabbed this piece and then made a made an L out of it to make a little cranker okay so now you're gonna grab that again back across and you're gonna crank this back so that this piece goes parallel to the actual leader itself and when you do that it's almost like magic look at that it shears off like nothing and it's because the way that you did it, it pressures it and it makes it just snap off perfectly. Now, you literally have a perfect break off. You can grab this with your fingertips and it is not sharp in any way, shape or form because it breaks flat across the metal, all right? And it's almost amazing, but that is how you make a connection onto wire with your 200 pound snap. Now you're gonna make one on the other side. I'm gonna do it a little faster. That took forever, because I'm trying to explain it. It's fast once you get good at it. Bend it around, flip the pliers, grab it sideways. Actually, we'll put our, we'll put our snap on. Then we're gonna bend four or five times around, get those wrap so they're right on top of each other we're gonna leave the tag end up perpendicular to the to the loop we're gonna make ourselves a little crank we're gonna grab it all right and we're gonna bend back down so it's parallel and snap comes right off perfectly sheared off once again no sharpness all right we now have a very beautiful 12 inch I mean that is a that is a solid musky leader right there 174 pound stainless steel wire your number four stay lock must add snap 200 pound swivel no matter what happens this is not going to break so at that point, you undo your snap. You put it on your bait, and you're off to the races. Go get them. So, just to drive this idea home because a lot of people don't believe it one of the reasons why these leaders when you're using a soft plastic like a tube or some other head weighted rubber bait one of the reasons why the leader gets tested so much more than on regular baits is that they bite it on the fall so when a bait is falling straight down look at where that leader ends up okay right along the bait so these baits love to get hit right there as they're getting as they're falling. So when a muskie goes to grab this, it now has your leader like that in its mouth. And when you go to yank, now you're all primed up and you feel dunk. And then you rip this as hard as you can. This is ripping against teeth inside of a muskie's mouth. I got news for you. The muskie's teeth are as sharp as a knife and they will cut through fluorocarbon over and over again use the steel it's gonna i'm just telling you it'll save the day these things come back in six inch ribbon curls this part of the leader bent in a circle because it ripped through its lips ripped through its teeth and it's tight round you know it it just once you see it happen enough you know that that's what's going to happen you got to watch out for that and with these kind of baits you should be using steel. So make your own. It's good and fast and simple and these things are killer. So 
never had to, never had one fail on me. So good luck out there. Hope you like this. Like and subscribe. Ask any questions in the comments. Try and share this, and uh, we'll see you on the water.